Welcome to Throw It Back to 2001 on YouTube. Quick disclaimer, I do not have my Royals hat with me on campus, so that is why I'm wearing a Cardinals hat. I am your host, Ben Avery, here to rank the p players in Backyard Baseball 2001. Anyone who played this, who played Backyard Baseball, knows how nostalgic it is. The Backyard Baseball series ran from 1997, 1997 to 2010. My personal favorite is the one I'm going to be ranking in this video, 2001, because it had one player from every team, every MLB team, two for the Cincinnati Reds. I was a little under two months old when this game came out. Without further ado, let's get into ranking the players. And I'm going to start at F and go all the way up to S. So F is Sydney and Ashley Weber. I mean, they're twins. They play tennis most of the time. So, yeah, I think they play tennis more than they play any other sports. Annie Frazier, I, I just remember she was not, Annie Frazier was not a good hitter. And in this video, I'm going to be ranking some on power, some on speed, and some on pitching. Billie Jean Blackwood, again, not very powerful. Same with Maria Luna, Vicky Calgucci, and Kenny Calgucci, mainly because Kenny was in her wheelchair. But Kenny did have good speed, I gotta give him that. Okay, Sally Dobbs and Ronnie Dobbs. I say Sally Dobbs was kind of, kind of tried to be in charge a little bit. And Ronnie Dobbs, he didn't respect Sally Dobbs as much as he should have. Ricky Johnson, again, he was just, Ricky was kind of bored and didn't know what was going on a lot. Amir Khan, I gotta give him, I gotta give Amir Khan credit for his personality, but yeah, Ahmed's brother Amir wasn't that good at hitting. Reese Worthington, yeah, Reese just always had asthma and just wasn't that good. Now, even though I put Carlos Beltran as a D player, I still, I still, of course, I do respect him because he was on the Royals at the time. And of course, I was biased when I was five years old because I'm from Kansas City. I love the Royals. And he played for the Royals. You can't go wrong there. Okay, moving on, we got Jorge Garcia, Stephanie Morgan, Gretchen Hasselhoff, and those, and those three players, like, I, I understand I may have ranked, I should have ranked Jorge Garcia higher, but he's, at least he's in D, I gotta give him that. And then I got Marky Dubois at last, because, like I said, I don't think he was that good. And I forgot to rank Luann Louis, but I haven't, didn't, but I didn't pick her much. So, uh, since she wasn't a very good hitter, she would have to go in D for me in my ranking. Okay, now we're into a little MLB players. Jeremy Burnett, I just don't remember picking him, so I don't think he was very powerful. Jason Kendall and Marty Cordova, Cordova. Yeah, I don't. I didn't pick them, so I don't think they're very powerful. When I was younger, I I liked to overpower my team. 
So that's why I didn't pick them, because I like to overpower my team. So Cinda Smith, I mean, I pick her sometimes, but she wasn't the, my favorite. Dmitry Petrovic, again, I pick him sometimes. Yeah, because I feel like he was better than Jorge Garcia. They're both smart, so that's why I compare the two. Ernie Steele, he was good. He was good, but he wasn't the best. Lisa Crockett, again, she was good, but again, not the best. Kimmy Ekman, just loved being crazy and yeah, she just loved being crazy and I remember the intro. She, when she was up to bat, she'd swing the bat round and round. But yeah, I feel like she was okay, okay. Angela and Tony Del Vecchio, they're pretty good, yeah. Now we're getting into the players that did good in the game. Dante Robinson, so the C tier, but I liked him. And he'd always eat a lot, so that's lots of calories to burn off. Uh, Mark McGuire, he was with the Cardinals. And I understand he took steroids, but yeah, he was really good. Raul Mondesi, Raul Mondesi's dad. Raul Mondesi plays for the Royals now, so that's why. I, but Raul Mondesi at that time played for the Blue Jays. And again, I didn't pick him much, so he wasn't good to my expecting standards. Uh, Alex Rodriguez, Mariners. Yeah, before he took steroids, I... I mean, I liked him. I mean, I know he took steroids at the end of his career, but other than that, he was a good player. I'm not bashing on the players in this game who took steroids. That's just not how I am. Mikey Thomas, I know. He was very slow. Blue snot bubbles at times. And he was very incongested, but he was, if you hit in the game with Mikey Thomas, he was very powerful. Todd Helton for the Rockies. I mean, he was a good player, yeah. He's, I think he's a Hall of Fame player now. Okay, Mo Vaughn. I don't remember him much. So I didn't, I don't think I picked him much. Okay, Kenny Lofton, he was a good player, yeah. I'd say I picked him sometimes. Uh, Jeff Bagwell, he was a good player. His stats, his stats to say that he was a good player. Jason Giambi played for the A's. I mean, I feel like anyone who played in the played for the Yankees was a good player back in the day. Even though he was with the A's, he played for the Yankees after the A's. But again, I feel like anyone who played for the Yankees was a was a good player back in the day. Okay, now we're on to the A tier. Got to stay hydrated. Okay, the A tier, I got Pete Wheeler. He was so fast. I mean, match the best, the current day best MLB base runner and match him up with a race against Pete Wheeler. Who do you think would win? I mean, Pete, Le Pete Wheeler was so fast. He didn't even... I could bunch with him every time, and he'd be safe every time. Nomar Garcia Para. Nomar Garcia Para. I mean, just like for the Yankees, I feel like anyone who played for the Red Sox back in the day were really good. 
So I don't mean to go on a tangent, but you got Manny Ramirez, David Ortiz, Kevin Euclid, Josh Beckett. I feel like all of those players were really good. You got Kurt Schilling. I don't think he's Hall of Fame material, but he was a good player. Uh, you got Ahmed Khan, who, a lot like Amir, he was very into rock and roll music. And I feel like um, Ahmed Khan was really good. I'd always pick him. Of course, under Pablo Sanchez, so we get into later in the video. You got Derek Jeter, Yankees captain, Yankees slugger. Which is why he's an A, because I feel like he was very good. You got Jose Canseco, Devil Rays. I mean, I don't think he was the best player, but he was pretty good for his time. You got Larry Walker for the Rockies. I mean, I made a mistake on the team. I think he played for the Rockies, but I don't know if he went in as a Rockies player in the game. But... He was really good. I mean, he wasn't Hall of Fame material by any means, but he was pretty good. Okay, Chipper Jones. I remember going to the 2012 All-Star Game and watching Chipper Jones' last All-Star Game, but Chipper Jones is pretty good, yeah. Of course, I would pick him after I pick Pablo Sanchez, Carlos Beltran, but yeah, Chipper Jones was a pretty good player. Tony Gwynn, rip, but yeah, Tony Gwynn, I'd say he was a pretty good player. I mean, he's, again, not the best player, but he was pretty good. Yvonne Rodriguez for the Rangers. Quick side note, I actually went to Globe Life Field in Arlington, Texas. And they have a big bobblehead of Pudge. But yeah, when I was younger, Pudge was my brother's favorite Rangers player, mostly because of his number. But yeah, Pudge Rodriguez is top A tier player. And now S tier, Pablo Sanchez, the greatest player of all time. I'd put him in the ranks of Babe Ruth if he was a real player. Literally, Mike Trout, if we're talking about sluggers of all time, I go Mike Trout, Aaron Judge, Pablo Sanchez, Mickey Mantle, Babe Ruth. Nah, George Brett's not up there, but you get the point. And the second player on the A tier, S tier list, Keisha Phillips. I mean, Keisha Phillips is good. Yeah, she's good like Pablo Sanchez. She was a slugger. Same thing with the Reds. Ken Griffey Jr. He was he was really good back in the day. Like along with his no, I, didn't, I never really saw his dad play, but Ken Griffey Jr. was a stud. And Randy Johnson for the D-backs. I mean, I I think he threw like what? Two no-hitters in his career Randy Johnson did. And I feel like two no-hitters in the Hall of Fame mention is top-notch, the best career you could ever have, except for Nolan Ryan, who's through seven no-hitters. Okay, Vladimir Guerrero Jr.'s daddy, Vladimir Guerrero, was a great player growing up. Well, me growing up, I saw him, and he was a great player. I actually got his Expos jersey at my house. 
Maybe I should wear that to one of these episodes, projects, whatever. But yeah, Vladimir Guerrero was, I think he was the greatest player who did not take steroids for his time, along with Ken Griffey Jr. Sammy Sosa, I think I should put him in A tier because he did take steroids, but yeah. When I was little, I didn't know what steroids were. So, for my time of playing this game, I put Sammy Sosa in S tier. The Big Hurt, Frank Thomas. I mean, he's the Big Hurt. So, it makes sense why he's in the S tier. Now, Barry Bonds, who played for the Giants. Now, I think Barry Bonds was a great hitter. I mean, I think he did take steroids, but anyway, I think he was a great player. If he did not take steroids, I don't know if he would be a good player, but since he took steroids and not knowing what steroids were back then, he was a good player. Ken Griff or Cal Ripken Jr., I mean, What's not to love about Cal? He plays hard. He broke the all-time consecutive game streak. At the same year this game came out. But what's not to love about Cal? He was Derek Jeter's hero growing up. And they finally played in the All-Star game in 2001. Moving on, we got Mike Piazza who was the greatest hitting catcher of his time and of all time. I mean, he's, he hit the most home runs as a catcher in MLB history. So is Salvador Perez gonna break that? Maybe, doubtful, but maybe. And that was me ranking all 21 backyard baseball players. But now that I mention it, I, I feel like I did miss Barry Larkin. I put Barry Larkin B tier. Not as good as Ken Griffey Jr., but he was an above average player. Larkin also played for the Reds. Fun fact, this game has two current players' dads, Vladimir Guerrero Jr.'s dad and Raul Mondesi's dad. This game was so much fun when I, when I played it 17 to 20 years ago. Of course, you're biased when you're five years old, so I picked, I picked Carlos Beltran every time. I'm from Kansas, I'm from the Kansas City area, so, but other than that, I overpowered my team, and I hit off the tee, so I could get a hit to home run every time, <clears throat> with Pablo Sanchez, Barry Bonds, Mark McGuire, and more. Believe it or not, I missed this game. <laughs> and I wish it'd come back, but that's probably just me. Other people may have another opinion on that. Anyway, this game was my childhood, but also comment down below if you played this game as a child. Thanks for watching. And please, do me one favor, have a great day!